This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by the Ocean City Hotel Motel Restaurant Association. Well, we've got some big conference championship games this weekend. If you don't feel like spending all day in the kitchen come game time, but you want something yummy to eat, our next guest to the rescue. This is Chef Michael Fritz, who likes to go by Fritz, so that's what we're going to call him. He's with BJ's on the Water Bayside in Ocean City. Going to show us how to make a crab imperial that we can actually make days out, and it's going to be ready come game time, right? Correct. Yes, it will. Okay. All right, well. let's start off with ingredients. Okay. What are we going to need? We need uh, two cups of a Hellman's mayonnaise. Use a really good mayonnaise. It, it stands up in the oven better. Okay. Four egg yolks, half an ounce of medium dry sherry, um, quarter ounce Old Bay, eighth ounce of Worcestershire, a pinch of allspice, a pinch of nutmeg, a pinch of white pepper, and one pound of lump crab meat. Which we got right here. All right, so well, we start off with the crab meat, okay. right? What I'd like you to do, Lisa, is start gently start picking this for any shell, cartilage, anything. Okay. Just put it in your hands and squeeze it, and you'll feel it. Don't try not to crush the meat oh, okay. and toss it in there. <laughs> keep, keep the lumps, but keep yeah. What I'd like okay. you to do, you're gonna make the sauce. All right. We're gonna start putting a little mayonnaise in there. Okay. So you've been doing this particular I've been with BJ's for 19 years. Is that right? Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, All right. What else? Uh, we're going to add four egg yolks. Four egg yolks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're saying in the height of the summer, you can make 4,000 of we, these. We do four by 4,000 of this dish in Oh here my at goodness. Wow. Um, this is sher uh, the sherry. Going with the sherry. Okay. Squeeze that lemon. Just just get all I, the juice out of it. Put I it right in there. I'm a lemon squeezer, I got to tell you. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> but I squeezed it. Next is Old Bay. Got the Old Bay. Can't do it without Obey. Just a Worcestershire can't. sauce, and the next three are very. You'll see how little spice I use in these. Okay. It is white pepper. A little white pepper. And right. the next one, two are different. It's nutmeg. Nutmeg. And we use allspice. And some allspice. That's an mm -hmm. interesting uh, spice to put into a crab meat. You've got to be real careful with those last two, especially the allspice. It'll overpower it if you don't put just a. All right, now, Fritz, I got to ask you. We got one more thing up here. What about that? That's going to go on the, when it comes out of the oven. Finished product. It's okay. a little bit of Old Bay, just for a little bit of color. And I'm just kind of mashing all this together. Just whip it and whip it good. Is there an official? <laughs> <laughs> now, when you say you can make this in advance, you don't mean like many, many days in advance. How, how long can we keep something like this? I would this? go two, three days. It's as good as your mm -hmm. crab meat. Okay. The sauce will last eight days. The wow. crab meat, you got a nice, fresh crab meat. You can go uh, three, four days. And if you're doing something for the uh, Super Bowl party, just get very small ramkins. Mm -hmm. Do a, like a one or two ounce portion. Right. And it's perfect. Huh. And it's all, all you have to do. All right. Well, we in right? all of so that, I found one shell. Nice. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so how are we doing here? Oh, uh, perfect. Good. What we're going to do now is going to add the crab meat right back in. All the shells, are nothing in here, right? There's nothing in there. Okay. Put it back in there. Jimmy, we're going to... Put it all in there? Uh, no. No. Not all of it. Okay. We always have it save a little bit. Just in case of... The emergency? <laughs> <laughs> and now, because you never know. Now we'll just fold this all together. You got to be real careful with this crab meat. Because you you want to keep the the clump the the. People love lumps. Yes, they, love, have the they lumps. love they People love the lumps. Shell. So that's yeah. why you're folding it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and gentle. And right. the reason why I add kept some, if you do make it in advance, the crab meat will absorb some of this. Ah. And so that the day of it, you just pull that refrigerator, add a little bit more and you're ready to go. And if you would like uh, the shopping list and instructions, there's several ways you can get it. You can send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can go online, delmarvalife.com, or give us a call, 443-880-9116. Say you want the recipe for Crab Imperial. So is this ready to put the heat to it? It's ready. We can pop it in. Okay. Now, and and I we know have our <coughs> super duper oven. I know you love this magic of TV thing. And because of that, oh, look at this. Wow, this really looks good. Is it hot, Jimmy? It's very hot. Okay. <laughs> That'll make it fun to taste. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my friend. There we go. All right. Oh, that looks good. We're going to let that cool down a little bit and taste it. And you'll take a little bit of uh, Old Bay, just a little bit, just little a little color. Just a and little? You also use paprika, but I just like a little bit more salty, a little more flavor. Uh -huh. Just a little. That's why we do that. All right. And All right. Go. We're going to taste that when we come back. Right now, we're going to take a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21 and later on WBOC News at 6.